Here are some advanced examples of how you can create mandatory fields in Business Central using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, the first thing you might ask is that, hang on, Eric, this is the simple object designer. Now you're s telling me about advanced stuff and said, sure. There's also a video on on uh, on the more simplified uh, mandatory fields, uh, but the feature is quite powerful. So I thought I, in this video I want to show you some of the things things we can do, uh, and we might as well jump right into it. So here's the simple object designer, and if I go to mark fields as mandatory and actions, and I find uh, release on sales order, we can see that there's one condition for the release function on sales orders. Uh, and the condition which we created in the other video saying that you cannot release a sales order unless the shipment date is at least seven days into the future. Um, and that is, that is great. Let's make sure that this one still gets the red asterisk. Uh, that's good. But maybe this should only be if the customer is, let's see how a customer groups. Uh, customer posting group. Um, so the customer posting group, let's say that if this is foreign. So if it's a foreign customer, then we need a bit more time to ship. So what we will do is that we'll keep this line, but we will add a new line before it. Um, so let's find the customer posting or perhaps posting group. And say so that if, uh, and so now we get an error because what we're trying to do here, and we can hit the three dots, maybe get a, uh, get a hint and we can see that, hang on, hello, is in single quotes. So in order for us to do this, let's put sing oops, wow, single quotes around this, and now it's happy. Uh, but we are still, you can see this one is red, uh, because right now this is, the simple object sign thinks that these are two independent tests. So what we want to do is we want to take the shipping date and then we want to indent it so it's under the other one. So what we've created now is saying that if the customer is foreign, then the shipment date has to be seven days in the future in order for user to release an order. Um, and you can, you can stack these. Um, how you want it, so you can have multiple under one or one, two, three, and you can, you can, you can cascade, test uh, how you want. Um, we can also do another thing. So until now we have just used the main table, and if we go into, let's just take another page here, uh, not a document. Um, let's do. If I do one, so here the company information card. There are there are some things here. So if I go into fixed asset setup, for instance, we can see that here main table is grayed out. So I cannot select the lines because there are no lines on the com company information card. But if I go back to my my uh, my sales order. Uh, card, the simple object designer knows that huh, there are actually two tables on the page. There's the, the header and then there's lines. So we can go and say, okay, let's select the lines. And if we now look at the fields here, we can see at line number and type and number. And suddenly uh, we are on the, the, the line part. So we could set select location and say, huh, we will not allow to release, oops, anything without, and now actually instead of typing, then I will hit the three dots and you can see a blank text, good for the different from operator. So I'll select that one. Uh, all 
uh, line needs location code. And because there might be hundreds of lines on Aurora, what we can do is that we can, we can, a backslash will give you a line break in the arrow, and then we can say percentage one. This is, this is, this is why you watch the video. Uh, percentage one will insert a identification with the line number so we know which line we're talking about. Um, and uh, this one turns black eventually because it is correct now. Um, we can also stack these so we, we could also use the same thing as we're doing up here with uh, with one condition on another. We can do that so you can also have that if uh, let's 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 actually just go again and say if the custom posting group is domestic and now I remember the quotes and then we want to indent this one under so only location codes is needed if this is domestic. If this is foreign, then we don't care about, I, I don't know, the, the exam does probably doesn't make very much sense, but you can do this. And maybe we want to check other things than location. So we can go soup table and then select um, uh, let's uh, let's say net weight has to be larger than zero. Um, wow, wait, and I'll use this again to make sure that the we know which line it is and right now this is you see this is not intended so this will check all lines no matter what is in custom posting group if i indent it here then it's only if the customer posting group is domestic then we'll check that all net weight is larger than zero um, and when i'm done doing this i go and hit publish and as soon as I hit publish, what is happening is that the simple object designer will start writing the code for all these things. Uh, and, and now we specified quite a lot. So, so this, is, this is a few lines of code, uh, of code that in order to, to do all this. Then when it's done writing the code, it will compile the code into an app file. Uh, and then two things happen with that app file. The first thing is that it gets downloaded. So you, so we get an app file downloaded. This only happens in, if you're in the registered version, the paid version. Uh, then you can take that app file, if you're doing this in the sandbox, and go to your production environment and upload it there. Um, and the other thing that's happened because I answered yes is that this app is now getting deployed to the sandbox I'm in. So that is what's happening here. And we can see that Microsoft is still working on this package validation is waiting to be started. Um, and sometimes this is super fast. Sometimes this is not super fast. Uh, so what what the way it's actually working is that when you deploy something, uh, an app, you're sending the app file, the file we also got downloaded, you're sending that into a central Microsoft service somewhere. And uh, that service will then validate the package. Say, is this, is the code correct written in it? Is everything as it should be. And when that is done, which is what's happened right now, it will then send the app file saying, okay, this one is good. It will send it over to uh, the uh, deployment service. So, okay, you can now deploy this app to this specific tenant. Uh, and that takes a couple of seconds also. And uh, in a second or two, three, two, one, go. <laughs> it always takes longer when I'm recording video. There we go. Now it's done. Uh, so those conditions are now met. And I'm just going to go in here again because now I can't remember what I did. Uh, so let's just take a quick peek, saying that if it's foreign, then we are testing for ship date. If it's 
domestic, then location needs to be different from something and it has to have a net weight. So let's go to a sales order and try to release something and see what error we get on the second one here. I think this customer is domestic. I'll hit release. Line needs location code, document type, or no, 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 line number 10,000. We can go and look and there's no location code. So let's add a location code to this line. And I'll release again. Now we're missing a location code on the next line. Um, and I'll put that in. And now it's released. So um, that is a couple of uh, more advanced examples of how you can use the mandatory fields uh, with the simple object designer. If you want to try it out yourself, you can you can download the simple object designer in a, in, a, in a sandbox, or if you already have license, you can make sure that you update it to the latest version uh, in in admin center, and then try it out yourself. Um, Check the link below if you need a, a link for the Simple Object Designer and uh, check out some of the other videos on the product. Thank you for watching.